A GM counter or Geiger Muller counter is an example of gas based counter. It's based on the ionization's property produced by a charged or uncharged energetic particle. So it can detect charged particles like alpha beta and uncharged radiations like x rays, gamma rays, etc. The charged particles directly ionize the gas and the radiations produce secondary electrons which in turn produce ionizations. This cylindrical tube is used as cathode and this axial rod made of tungsten is used as anode. A very high positive voltage is applied to this anode wire and the cylindrical cathode is held at a ground potential. This tube is filled with inert gas like argon, neon, helium, etc. So when a charged particle enters the counter, it collides with the gas atoms. So it's like this is an atomic system and the electron is moving around the nucleus. Now when the energetic particle falls on the electron, if the energy of the particle is enough, the electron will get out of the atom and now the atom will behave as a positive ion. Since very high potential is applied to the anode, this electron will be attracted to the anode and on its way it will collide with the other atoms and ionize them also. So it will go on. This electron will generate more electrons and they will also ionize the other atoms. This process goes on causing an avalanche effect. As a result there is a lot of negatively charged electrons and positively charged ions. All the electrons are collected on the anode and all the positive ions are collected on the cathode. All this happens in a few microseconds. As a result, there is a current flow in the circuit. And for this current flow, there will be a voltage drop on the resistance. And a pulse counter is connected with this resistance. So when there is a voltage drop, it will make a count. Thus our particle get counted. Flowing through the circuit, the electron come to the cathode, recombine with the positive ions and normalize it. Now here is a problem. When the recombination occurs, the resulting gas molecules are raised to the excited states and then it emits some radiation and this emission contains some ultraviolet content and it causes a photoelectric emission from the cathode surface and these photoelectrons initiate a fresh avalanche process. As a result, we will get more counts which are not correct. So to get right counts, we must have to stop this photo emission. For this, we use quenching. For this, we fill the GM counter with 90% argon and 10% ethyl alcohol. And one interesting feature of alcohol is that its large polyatomic organic molecules favor dissociation than excitation. As a result, it doesn't go to the excited state and no UV or other radiations are emitted in this process. And hence, a second avalanche can't start. So we'll get a correct count this time. So this is all about GM counter.